Rob, uh, in the midst of a, a busy period, well, as, as always, really, but obviously off the, the back of a game Tuesday, back in action again tomorrow on, on Good Friday. So, first of all, you know, how have the, the boys been looking this morning off the, the back of that game on Tuesday? Uh, they're never looking really good. Um, obviously, good spirits. Last couple of games gone well for us. Um, but it's very much a case of preparing for Rochdale, recovering a little bit and getting the lads ready, um, who obviously um, need a bit of sharpness and a little bit of training to get their load up. Uh, but overall good, yeah. Just um, just got to make sure that we, we knuckle down, uh, really concentrate on Rochdale. And um, yeah, that's that's the most important thing. Rochdale, very, very good team. And um, I love the way they play. The manager's got them playing really good football. Uh, their movement and their... Um, you know, the way they can switch between positions, we have to be really on our guard, especially out of possession uh, and in possession. They're hard to break down. They get into a good shape, uh, and they're really well drilled. So, yeah, we know that every game now between now and the end of the season is going to be tough, and we just need to approach this in the right way and, and make sure that we keep that mentality regardless of uh, who's on the pitch. Yeah, and you mentioned Rochdale. There, of course, a side you played against a couple of times away from home in, in both the, the trophy and the league. The league game, of course, was your, your first game in, in charge as well. So, I mean, you mentioned there a little bit of, of what they're like in terms of probably not too dissimilar to yourselves in control and the ball and, and things like that. But as well, I think in terms of the, the league table picture, they're probably not so far away from the playoffs that, you know, they've won a couple in recent weeks that if they're strung together a lot of wins end of the season, they could throw themselves right into contention. So it's not like they're a team who are coming here with nothing to play for. No, definitely not. And I don't think they've, I don't think that's the mentality of that team and that group anyway. Um, so no, you know, I think teams are aware now. It's two games in a one weekend can change the picture of the table very, uh, very quickly, both in a good way and a positive way, wherever you're in the middle, top, bottom. So, um, yeah, we completely, obviously we'll do all our homework on them, we'll give them the respect they completely deserve, both individually as in, as the individuals they got and as a squad. Um, but yeah, we just need to make sure that we concentrate on us and concentrate on doing the things that make us a good team. And there are reasons why we've got good results in the last couple of games. Because um, I think ultimately the, the result was outstanding in terms of the scoreline, but it was the performance that was really pleased with. And I think if we maintain the levels of performance, then we're giving ourselves the best chance to win games and obviously carry that momentum forward and in terms of buying into what we need to, to affect games. So, no, really happy um, with where we're at. But these are the times where complacency can easily set in. People get a bit confident, a bit carried away. Uh, and you can be brought down to earth really quickly. So we're going to be making sure that over the next two games, especially before we get a little break, in comparison to what we're getting at the moment, you know, four days, um, that we keep on our metal and make sure that we're uh, um, keeping our standards as high as we possibly can. Yeah, and you mentioned there, of course, the obviously the, the break between games is a pretty short one with Tuesday to Friday and then Monday again. So with that in mind, do you kind of have to think about the, the sort of rotation side of things a little bit more when you're you know, selecting teams and, and training and stuff like that at the, at the minute, I suppose, as well? You've, you've got... A decent amount of options at the minute to be able to do that if you need to. Yeah, I think the um, the easiest thing to do would just be say play the same team, don't change anything. But you know, that's not how we approach it, and you know we've got to respect the load. I mean, the actual output for the lads to put in a performance like that the other day was huge. So that might play the same team because ultimately you have to respect the performance. Uh, but we know we've got a game today and also a game in three days again after. So not an ideal scenario in terms of the um, in terms of the running. And we just need to make sure that one, we're protecting the lads first and foremost because we need to make sure that every single player within the squad's available every single time. Um, and we need to give ourselves the best option to win, to win every game. Um, so yeah, a little bit of planning and foresight, but ultimately we'll go with what we feel is right, which we have done all season. And you know, no matter what team we put out tomorrow, uh, the personnel have complete faith in every single one of them that they understand the roles and responsibilities and they'll bring the things that we've asked for in terms of in and out of possession and setting our standards and, and keeping them high. Yeah, and in terms of the the team picture at the the minute, I mean, you, you mentioned in a in an interview the the other night that you were still trying to bring faces into the building as well. So, so how are things going on that front? Yeah, looking to bring some faces in. Everyone's here today working really hard. Luke Clark's been in. He's come in as um, as head of uh, head of recruitment, I suppose, like chief scout, whatever role he wants really. But um, obviously, brought Dave to the table in terms of identifying him, um, and you know really helped helped us with our selection uh, and then yeah like you say Nilsson you're upstairs Bernard working hard in terms of trying to get things over the line um, but it has to be the right person you know not to bring the bring anyone in for the sake of it 
and I think everyone knows sort of our recruitment process here is a, we, we're very specific about the person that comes in and also the type of footballer so yeah fingers crossed we can add a couple of faces to really help us with the load over the next few weeks uh, and come into the squad and enjoy the running uh, and that's the big thing just want whoever's here you know, and then the boys here at, at the moment just to really enjoy it and you know, enjoy that uh, enjoy that feeling and, and togetherness and you know, sort of see where that takes us. Yeah, and, and mentioning the, the team picture as a whole as well. Obviously, Eddie Beach back off in national duty as well now, so another option to, to add to the ranks, really. Yeah, uh, Beachy um, is one of the best guys ever. You know, um, He's come in, he, he, he got better and better in the games he played. Obviously, it's hard for him coming in the situation he did, and he dealt with it so well. His mental strength is fantastic. He's going to have a fantastic future in front of him. Obviously, he's one of the most unluckiest guys ever in this period of time with randomly getting glandular fever and then really well get it's obviously really uh it's really positive him getting called up for wales and going to play there but obviously then stops his progress here again and, and nathan's come in and, and been assured and done done very well quietly gone about his business um so look, in the goalkeeping department we are strong and we are um you know very fortunate in that sense and you know obviously we're very um grateful to chelsea in terms of the way they managed and helped with beachy uh and obviously to mk dons who we obviously have a relationship with uh with nathan uh and then yeah monty in the background there somewhere when he's come in because he's a legend and you know he come in and helped out in a period in what could have been a difficult period so um no from an ex goalkeeping point of view very uh pleased with the bunch and it's very hard as a goalie because you know that only one can play but we want to make sure that um their togetherness and the way they train and the way they approach it is just as important, especially around the group, being big personalities, all of them, that they uh, they, they help the squad and are ready when, when called upon.